Hey everybody! In the previous part of this video guide, we saw how to create a Peppy Post account and to integrate it with WordPress using the WPSMTP mail plugin. However, some hosting providers block SMTP communications completely for many reasons. In this case, you can simply work around this issue by using Peppy Post own WordPress plugin. The plugin uses a standard web APIs to send emails, and as those plugins act like standard web requests, they are not blocked. To install and use PeppyPost plugin, log in to your WordPress admin dashboard and under plugins, click add new. Search for PeppyPost plugin, then install and activate it. Once activated, PeppyPost settings are accessible from the sidebar admin menu. To complete the integration, you'll need your PeppyPost API key. Simply log in to your PeppyPost account Open your profile page and then copy the key here. Click on show, enter your account password, then copy and paste the key. Now enter your sender email address and name and save the settings. Now all that's left is to make a test. So we'll type in an email address subject and message and click send and as you can see we get a message the test message sent let's now switch to our mailbox and verify that we got a message the message has landed at my mailbox without any problems please note that it may take a minute or two for the mail message to arrive depending on peppy post servers load you can always view the delivery status by clicking on log reports and here you can see the detailed delivery status for each message. That's it. You can now send mail messages from your WordPress application, even if your web host blocks SMTP communications. I hope that this two parts guide was useful to you. Share your comments and feedback by leaving a comment. And I'll see you next time.